and you've got this amazingly huge big balloon. Look how huge it is. I love, love, love it. And they've got like the string and this string is actually designed to like sit around the belly of the standing um, giraffe. I think that's super cute. So it'll look like this big balloon is carrying this giraffe away. Totally coordinates with their unforgettable um, stamp set with the elephants. So I love that it's the same feel so I can mix and match the elephants and giraffes together. The sentiments that are coming here are really nice. You've got, you always lift me up when I'm feeling down. It's your day, go wild. And party like an animal. And then you just got to thank you. So, oh, sorry. And there's completely wild about you. So you've got some really nice sentiments to go with it. And they're mixed up fonts as well. So I really like that. So I think this one will be super cute. I would actually like to create a scene that looks like a vintage storybook and just have like one of these guys sitting here and a few birds and like do the little soft grass and maybe use some antique linen to distress the sides of it and make it a little bit more um, aged looking. So I just, I don't know, I think this one will be really fun for that. Um, and the other one I got was the one called Happy Mail. Love, love, love. Again, really, I like that the outline of these images are very thin, which makes it easier for no line watercolor or no line coloring. Um, and then, I don't know, I just love what comes in this set. You've got this cute bear, and I see him as a polar bear, but I mean, you could be any type of bear. You've got um, two bunnies facing the other way, and they both got their arms up like they're chasing something, so I think it's cute because you can have the butterflies now trying to touch a butterfly or something like that, or they could be holding the envelope or a flower. And you got this really nice stump that you can have them sitting on to get them a bit of height on the card. You got these three cute birds here with some music notes. These two cute squirrels that look at each other. Um, and then you've got this nice banner that says happy. The sentiments say you've got happy mail. You're my favorite thought. Always and forever best of friends. Consider yourself hugged. That one. I like that one. And um, thanks for being so wonderful. So I like uh, the sentiments are great too. So. Um, I've already sort of played with this one, so I had a few ideas of what I wanted to do with this one. I haven't really turned them into cards yet, but I've just sort of been playing with some scenes. So with the polar bear, I did some no-line um, pencil coloring, pencil crayon color, or like just the pencils. I actually bought a couple of the Prisma um, grays and the white just because the... Um, just like the warm grays, only because my... Uh, Spectrum Noir ones. I didn't have the set that has a lot of grays in it. So instead of buying the whole other set, I just bought three or four of the um, Prisma gray ones that I found at an art store to complete what I need to use. And then I used um, just a white ink um, just to, with the, my favorite things, um, snowy back, snowy, I think it's snowy background uh, or backdrop, but it's this falling snow. Uh, stamp set like the six by six the rubber one so that turned out really good I just sort of put a post note over this guy so I wouldn't get any um, of the snow falling on him and I don't know I'm pretty impressed with the way he looks like to get the really super white um, I used a sharpie white fine point um, marker pen and that worked out really well I know that other people have used like the Copic multi-liner that white stuff but this works really well and I've already got it for like mixed media purposes and it worked really nicely over the pencils so it was really good to get some nice white highlights and it can be either like highlights or the snow like that's where the snow's gathering on them so anyway I think that was I was really happy with that one and then while I was playing I also pulled out the bunnies um, not as impressed with this one. I didn't get my coloring quite right, but I still had lots of fun and um, I used the stump, a lot of the flowers and the butterflies to come up in here. So I just need to work out how to make everything pop out as much as the bunnies before I turn this into a card. But it was lots of fun playing with the, um, the scene and everything else. So that was cool. And then um, my last card share, which isn't to do with any of the stamp sets I've got, today but um, I just thought I'd share it because I have it in my stash and I try to do that for you guys and this was using the W plus 9 um, the dream catcher stamp set and I just um, used the um, wow pearl um, mm, I think it's platinum pearl embossing powder to stamp it and I sort of use three or four like lots of stamps like they all come separate and you just sort of stamp them in place and then I heat set it and then I used um, the Gonzai uh, watercolors so I wanted to play with the backgrounds and see if I could make it 
sort of sit in the embossing. So that's what I was playing around with. I just used the uh, warm colors and lots of them. I didn't stick to like one or two. No, I tried like all of them out because I wanted to see what colors they were. Um, and then I sort of let it dry and then came back a second time and got the a bit more detail into it. And then I just used um, a Mama Elephant um, word dye for the thank you or the thanks and just cut it out three times out of some shiny paper and some sequins. So yes, and that's all I've got for you at the moment. Um, I hope everyone has a great day I'd, and I will see you for the next haul video. Okay, bye! Oops, I nearly forgot. There's a couple things I got here in Australia that I wanted to um, share as well. So this is what I, I got this um, Dynamo embossing label maker from Officeworks here in Australia and um, I hope you can see but there's that little black like it's embossed it's actually embossed into this black tape sort of like that right there and there's a few stamp sets I think Alt New does one that has that look to it and I'd rather the actual more vintagey feel one instead of buying a stamp set with you know half a dozen um, sayings on it I really wanted I've been looking for one of these for ages so I was super excited I knew there you could get them at Amazon as well but I mean I didn't want to pay shipping overseas and this one was only pretty sure it was $28 here in Australia so I thought that was really good and I would share that in case there's any Australians that are watching that would also like to find one of these label makers I intend to use it not so much for label making like labeling things more to use as a sentiment on my cards and because you can choose your own saying it's really cool and I can just put something and it looks authentic and vintage because it's the real thing not just a stamp and then I also got a three pack of refills and that was ten dollars um, both from Officeworks and then from Spotlight something else that oops, sorry I got and I know you can get it from Simon Says Stamp as well is um, Heidi Swap's Marquee Love. So, you know, my name being Sandy, I wanted an S to put in my room. I haven't decorated it yet, but it's super, I was really happy to um, see that it was here. And it was about $23 for one letter, which I know is quite a bit more than the US, but I wasn't buying like a whole word or anything like that. And then this weekend I went back to Spotlight and they had them on 30% off, so I got the star because I thought I could use this as a Christmas decoration. So, yes, and now that's actually all for the haul video. I promise we'll come back. Okay, bye.